Hey everyone, it's Birdo. I uh, pulled this old 10 gallon sump out of the garage. I, I woke up this morning thinking about a new project and uh, this I think is going to fit the bill quite nicely. It's stepping outside the box but some of you may remember this 10 gallon sump uh, as being underneath Birdo's 40 gallon reef. Um, I am going to repurpose it. So from all of this we are going to make a basically a desktop aquaponic system. I'm going to try anyway. Get our feet wet. See if we can't make something happen. I've made this L out of glass. Um, this is basically going to be the pump box or the pump house pump station, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to initially start with a uh, Cobalt uh, 600. I think that will be enough uh, flow. Uh, to give you an idea of how this thing is going to work, I'm going to go sideways. I don't know what it's going to look like on the camera, but of course this used to be one of my old sumps. So with that and knowing that this was a bubble trap, so the water would be fed down here from the aquarium it would be skimmed it would come over the top for the bubble trap and then it would come back to the pump house well now this part of the sump or the uh, the aquaponic tank is going to be for the fish so you know, we'll have some gravel and, and a couple of goldfish and their water is going to come over the top just like you have a skimmer on on a regular tank and that's that's to break up that surface tension of the water to allow the, the gases to exchange and to help oxygenate the water, you know, to keep to prevent that slime from building up on top of the water. So the water is going to come over this, what once was the bubble trap, now it's the overflow, and it's going to fill this chamber here, which is going to be the plant chamber. Up here, I'll have a planting bed that's going to be I think this is 13 inches wide by however tall this is, I forget. Um, see my hand there. It's uh, about this big, really. So, in fact, this is cut for that. We'll go in there. i got to put sides on it still. But the, uh, the plant will, will be here, and I might have enough room for two plants. I don't know. But then the water will skim back over the top after filling half of the uh, media that the plants are, are in, it'll flow back into the pump chamber where I'm going to start with a Cobalt 600, see if that's enough uh, uh, fluid motion to uh, keep this thing running sufficiently, and uh, we'll go from there. So let me do a little bit more plastic work, and we'll be back. All right, I've always got a bad habit of getting ahead of myself, so thought I'd stop where I was and show you what I'm doing, what I've got accomplished. Uh, the tank, I put the divider in, the glass divider for the pump. That's the pump house. That's all glued and set up. I've got two uh, trays, two uh, rests for the uh, flower bed. Uh, as far as getting the water from the bed back to the tank, We've decided to go with a goldfish because they're greatly producing fish. And uh, so I'm going to go old school. I don't know how many of you remember how to make your own under gravel filter, but it's just we get some egg crate and some PVC pipe. Lay down some plastic mesh for a screen. And on this one, I'm going to use an old siphon for cleaning gravel. I've cut out, I've notched out there so that the water will flow through. That's going to go right in there, just as sweet as can be, because I've, of course I've cut it right, so shouldn't have any problem at all. Yeah, there it is. And then I'm going to put the tube on top of there, going back to the... Uh, Cobalt 600 is what I've decided to use. Again, there's the gravel, just a natural gravel bed I'm going to use for the 
uh, fish compartment. And then I've got this here clay stuff that the plants seem to grow in. I talked to the hyd local hydroponic guy. He said use that. It's called hydrocorn. So that's where we're at. I've got a light that I haven't set up yet. Uh, let me get everything together. And let me get this guy. He's so happy out of his uh, temporary home. And we'll see you next time. Okay, I know it doesn't look much right now, but that's two, uh, two butter lettuce and one uh, arugula. Um, the tank is about ready to go. I uh, just want to let you see before I threw everything else in there. Uh, there's my bed. That's I don't know if I said it before or not, but it's going to be a reverse flow filter. Uh, it's going to bring everything back from the garden, which is going to be back here. Uh, through the pump, my 600, and it's going to pump it down. I've cut some notches in the uh, the siphon deal there, and it's going to run underneath the rock bed or the, the sand bed and come up that way. I've got one very dirty fish, so also I'm going to put a foam in here, a foam, piece of foam in here to kind of catch the big particles. Now I've got dolomite there just to keep the uh, the corn from falling through. I'm going to put the corn in next, plant my lettuce, and uh, we'll be back. And here he is. Poor little fella doesn't have a name yet. Sure does blend in well with the uh, gravel. Um, Rocky? Maybe that's a good name for him. He's kind of hanging out, safe zone. It's cool. Um, obviously, it's up and running. The uh, lettuce eye are uh, planted. Hopefully they'll spring back up here pretty soon. You can see where the water level is on the flower bed. It's right about here. So that's where they say it should be about just a little under halfway of the pot. So anyway, I got my 600 pump pumping up the tube and down the tube and underneath the uh, reverse flow filter that I made. So let's see what we got into this thing. We've got one uh, repurposed sump. This was used to live downstairs here in the cabinet when it was the first sump for my 40 gallon Birdo's Reef. Where this is now sitting proudly. It's come a long way, baby. Uh, lights. Zoomed. They're for got them at PetSmart. They're for lizards, reptiles, that kind of thing. You got the dual light fixture and the glue on the back of the tank stand. The pump, 600 pump, cobalt was uh, repurposed as well. The tubing was repurposed. The uh, egg crate was repurposed, the window mesh was repurposed. Actually the only things that I had to buy really were the light bracket that was I think $17 at PetSmart, the combo deep dome light fixture which was a hefty $45 and then a couple of the uh, 6500 Kelvin uh, ultra sun zoom ed lights. So everything's pretty much zoom ed except for the gravel and the lettuce and the fish. Um, oh, also always keep stability on hand. So I had that. Had the prime, which uh, really this whole thing, everybody's kind of curious who I've been talking to about this to see if the initial ammonia cycle, nitrogen cycle, will affect the plants. Uh, don't know yet. First time, first try. So don't know even how the stability is going to affect anything or if it will. But there is another old decoration that I had from tanks years back. You can see where I put the foam. It's a very coarse foam. Put that in where the overflow is from the what's now the tank. 
uh, just to catch the big particles. Don't let the big particles accumulate. And this way I could take this out and just clean it. Um, that, that too I had to buy. That was a flu ball. But uh, I'm thinking 45, 45, 55, you probably say a, a C note looking at right here, just from already having the, uh, the tank and stuff. I had to buy the fish, and goldfish was like $13. I couldn't believe that for a goldfish. But anyway, he's going to be just fine, I'm sure of it. And of course, I had to buy the uh, the media for the uh, rain lock for the lettuces. I've got butter lettuce and um, yeah, the other kind in the middle. So I'm growing lettuce. What are you doing? Anyway, I can't wait to rub that into one of my friends that I work with who. Uh, does a garden every year. Of course, he's not started it yet. I don't know, he might have. Anyway, that's it for now, folks. This is, uh, I'm going to call this, let's just call this the uh, aquaponic experiment. Okay, I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.